welcome guys to the old time cooking tv channel all right today for lunch we are going to prepare salt mackerel rundown a jamaican favorite all right so here we have the salt mackerel all right one full mackerel we also have the dry coconut you cannot cook rundown without your dry coconut some people choose to use the coconut powder but it's old time cooking we're going back to the old days dry coconut all right and to go along with that there are seasonings we have the thyme escalion sweet pepper tomato is a must once you're cooking salt mackerel you have the onion you have the hot peppers garlic and this is another key ingredients too um guys you have the pimento seed also to go with that now all right we have the green bananas green bananas go well with salt mackerel and this is salt mackerel rondeau mm, i can taste it already and it is not yet prepared so we have the green bananas we have the yellow yam we have sweet potato and a jamaican favorite again cornmeal dumplings so here we have the flour and the cornmeal and uh, to go with that now the sides we have two sides here we have the pl ripe plantain so we're gonna fry some plantain and also the avocado the jamaican pear avocado and these are, will go with the dish as sides so it's gonna be epic stay tuned my people if it is your first time to the old time tv old time cooking tv channel i ask that you subscribe press the like button and i want you to try this at home type in the comment section tell me if you have ever had jamaican salt mackerel rundown this is my little bullet right here this is going to be used to prepare the dry coconut i should be using the grater the fact that it's whole time cooking but all my life for years i've been using graters man these fingers go through hell with graters so i'm gonna use the bullet to prepare the coconut milk all right and then now everything will go together so stay tuned don't move a muscle if you want to send this video to someone that they can watch it in the meantime you can go ahead and do so touch that subscription button press the notification bell for other videos like these stay tuned for the preparation process okay guys welcome back again we have gone ahead and put on the coconut milk as you can see in this spot right here the coconut milk we are boil it down to custard as with grandma that say so yeah get out all of that excessive water and bring it down to oil you know gravy and this spot right here we have in the salt mackerel if i can take a closer look so we have the salt mackerel a boil this up and we have the coconut milk a boil this up to come down to custard this is a very healthy meal you don't have to use any additional oil you know no additional oil because the coconut produces its own oil you know and to show you how healthy the meal is we are boiling the salt mackerel on its own to get rid of the excessive salt so you don't have to worry about your pressure going up by the salt from the salt mackerel and also you don't have to worry for excessive fat from the coconut because it produces its own oil so it's a very healthy meal good for breakfast good for um, lunch good for dinner so all the wives out there it's a good meal to give to your husband husbands likewise it's a good meal to give to your wife so you're gonna see the preparation of the seasonings that will be added to it and also when we are cooking the food because we're going to cook the food in this pot all right and the rundown is going to be cooked in that pot so stay tuned again for that segment okay guys welcome back again i have gone ahead to prep my seasonings and as you can see looking very beautiful we have the escalion escalion we call it in jamaica we have the onion we have the thyme garlic garlic you know bring out the taste in your food we have the tomatoes, sweet pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, good old country scotch bonnet. I tell you, it's old time cooking. And there we have right in the little corner there, our pimento seeds. All right, this is the mackerel. Well washed, well, you know, picked and deboned. All of the bone them out of it, my people. We took out all the bones. There are some people when they are cooking, 
they leave the bones in it some people like to you know chew on the bones personally i don't like the bones it's a family meal that i'm looking about the little baby should be able to eat of it without any danger not gonna say you're gonna get out all the bones but as much as you can i try to get them out type in the comment section if when you're doing your um rundown if you leave the bones in your salt mackerel or if it make the food nicer for me i like to take out the bones look at these seasonings um guys it is so colorful so beautiful all right and here we have the flour prepped already the corn meal with a little tubs of salt on it so when i'm putting these in i'll catch you back again and you will see what is happening here we are again guys here we are again ready to put in our seasonings so that if you notice it boiled down very low and this is where you want it to go first you're gonna add in your onions because the onion gives it the taste has a lot of flavor in it so you want to put in that first all right after which you want to put in your garlic because you want to get out all the flavors out of these seasonings so you put in your garlic next all right you give it a little stir you can allow this to you know low flame because it is already low the liquid is already low you want liquid to heat with the food so therefore you allow this to you know marinate or just cook a little for about or saute not marinate saute for about a minute you know the garlic and the onion to get out that rich flavor out of it then you want to add your thyme right a lot of flavor so you want to put in your thyme secondly you want to put in your pimento seeds because you want to get out all of that richness out of the man you can just smell it already you can just smell it already guys wish you were here to smell this aroma mm. all right secondly you want 30 or 40 you want to put in your bell peppers in jamaica we call it sweet peppers and i put, choose to put in my seasonings first before i put in the salt mackerel because i want the seasoning the flavor of the seasoning to come out in the liquid before you put in the salt mackerel all right we are going to put in our green onions in jamaica we call it skellion and guys if you notice i cook with a lot of seasoning because seasoning let me turn down this a little more seasoning is what give you food taste i don't use half an onion no matter how small i'm cooking i have to use a whole onion and stuff like that so each person do them thing differently there are some people who would put in their salt mackerel before the seasoning and have it cooked for a little while but because we have scalded the salt mackerel before where the pepper now you have to be very careful because this pepper smells hot and as i said it's a family meal you don't want to put too much pepper in it so that the children cannot enjoy the meal all right lastly we're gonna put in the tomatoes very colorful so we have the red tomatoes we have the green bell peppers we have the yellow pepper we have the green skellion and thyme and my god the white onion so colorful so beautiful and you can just imagine the aroma in the kitchen after you have it there for a little while you give it another stir looking beautiful smells real great lots of seasoning low heat simmering down all right then now we're going to put in our mackerel and here it is our picked mackerel wash picked and deboned so we put in our mackerel all of it we don't want any to leave in the plate because it's already small and then we're gonna stir in everything now mix in the seasoning mix it in mix it in so that the flavor that come out of the seasoning into the coconut milk can you know soak through the salt mackerel and when you start to heat it that niceness that lovely taste you know man when you get a plate of this you know want it finished all right this is what grandma taught us to do 
this is what mama taught us to do and we are going back right there old time cooking nothing beats a home cooked meal no fast food we're not licking out against fast food but no fast food beats a home cooked meal all right then we're gonna top this off now with a little black pepper you know black pepper just to give it a little nice little taste not much all right that's about it and also to that we're gonna add a little all-purpose seasoning a little all-purpose seasoning all right not seeing the all-purpose seeing a little maggie chicken but nothing is wrong with that just a little there all right not much i am nearby the roadside so if you hear the bike in the background please understand all right they have this season that they call the jerk seasoning jamaican jerk retail seasoning it's not a must because you don't want to use a lot of powdered seasoning because all the taste of the regular natural seasoning is good enough for you and we want to make this a healthy meal as i said before um it's good for breakfast it's good for dinner it's good for lunch husband waking up in the morning getting a plate of this for his breakfast he would be so delighted your wife waking up husband you want to you know do something lovely for your wife this is a nice lovely breakfast idea it's also a dinner idea all right you let that simmer for a little while for about two more minutes with everything in it let me try and give you a close-up because trust me it is so 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 beautiful and you're gonna see the finished product when we are through all right we're gonna go over now to the food pot which is this pot right here um put in the flour the yam the sweet potato and the bananas so you'll see that when we return all right again again we're back back with the food pot now so we're gonna make the dumplings for me when i'm cooking i normally put in my dumplings first before my food there are those who prefer to put in their dumpling before um, flame is a little too high there are those who put in their food before their dumplings but um, for me I believe the fact that it has the cornmeal in it you know you want to put it in first so that the cornmeal can get to cook properly um, tell me what you do in the comment section do you put in your dumpling before your ground provision or you put in your dumpling last some people put in the yam the sweet potato the dasheen the banana before they put in the dumpling and the dumpling they would put in last for me i do it the other way around i want to make sure that my dumplings are well cooked so i put them in first in Jamaica people say once you see the dumpling them start float them cook but for me I don't go with that theory I just put them in first to make sure you know I'm trying to make these dumplings as neat as possible because um, you're not cooking for yourself and you want you know want your body in a ugly dumpling all right and also for presentation i want to make sure that the dumplings are neat so now the dumplings are in pot is boiling what you want to do you want to get a spoon and you want to just turn them around a little for them not to stick in the pot bottom all right we, we, i have my yam peel and sweet potato peel already these are the proper food so I would put them in after the dumpling. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put in the yams now and the sweet potato. 
and then after that I'll get to the banana I put in the banana last because these bananas are very soft and if you put them in with this they are going to overcook and mash out so I choose to put in the bananas last so again you use your spoon and you give this another stir just a simple stir for no sticking then you cover the pot and allow it to boil a few minutes after that I will proceed to put in the bananas we're gonna check on our food pot once more make sure you have your dish towel to prevent burn from your hand all right look at that pot is bubbling all right use a spoon again stir to make sure that there is no sticking you don't want your dumpling to be sticking in the pot bottom I remember first time days when we're cooking dumpling used to stick in a pot bottom so as a youth when you wash plate sometimes you'll find a dumpling that is stick up in the pot bottom there all right the bananas are very soft based on how I see them when I peel them they are not in the pot as yet but as Jamaican you know when you cook banana when you put them in the pot with the food like this sometimes what happens it gets it black right so in art so the other food becomes black so when you finish the food black anybody remember them at their country and I hit food and it when you put in the banana it make the yam black dumpling everything does come out dark all right there's a little trick to that you can choose to add a little um, coconut oil to the food pot just a little and it won't come out black or another trick you can add a little vinegar what I'm gonna use today is one cork of vinegar just a little you don't want it to be overpowering in the uh, in the taste of the food so just a little um, vinegar well, before you put in your bananas and your food come out white and pretty hope that's the way it will come out for this meal I don't want you to laugh at me all right so you give it another little stir i'm just gonna give it about another two minutes before i put in the bananas because i don't want the bananas to overcook so stay tuned all right it's that time again we are going to now proceed to put in the bananas i'm just cooking four fingers of bananas because i am not cooking for a lot of people and I can tell you the aroma from the rundown pot. Viewers, I'm telling you, trust me, I can't wait until it's finished. So now we're gonna put in the bananas, already peeled, already washed, and we place the banana in. We're gonna give it another little stir, just to make sure that there's no sticking going on there. And then we're just gonna allow everything to cook, all right? old time cooking TV channel if this is your first time here we ask that you press the subscribe button isn't that beautiful my people very beautiful so another 15 minutes and I believe it will be ready if this is your first time here I ask that you subscribe to this channel for more videos like these we have a lot of more cooking ideas coming up and um, press like on the video and share it with somebody you know just to brighten their days just you know bring back memories of the old time days in the country when grandma or mama used to cook old time rundown jamaica rundown not with the coconut powder but the real coconut milk catch you again when the food is finished and shared guys look at that look at that look at the finished product Jamaican salt mackerel rundown or in country would say rundown that's lunch for today viewers isn't that beautiful look at the clearness of the food I told you when you put that vinegar in the food pot it prevents it from becoming black and there we go let me try and give you a zoom in all right there we have it there we have it there we have it beautiful
beautiful look at the rundown look at the salt mackerel look at the different colors look at that very beautiful and right here we have the side fry planting and pear wonderful lunch to top it off right there is a cup of orange juice all right tell me where when you would rather to have this meal breakfast lunch or dinner type it in the comment section thank you so much for watching please remember to like share and subscribe to old time cooking tv channel until our next video all the best